What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 2022 Game Awards opening act. It's like, yeah. It's like DLC that you play before you play vanilla. We've got exclusive content, awards, world premieres, side quests, and our own exclusive soundtrack. Kidding on the soundtrack. I don't know how to write music. I'm Cindy Goodman, and I am live at the Microsoft Theater here for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world to millions, and our big show starts so, so soon, where we will honor the best gaming has to offer with new looks at upcoming games like Star Wars Jedi Survivor, <laughs> music performances, and so much more. But if you're a diehard who's already tuned in, here's your legendary reward of a first look at what's next for Dead Cells. Back in 2018, they won at the Game Awards, so let's check out what they've got going on next. So good. And what better way to segue into our first award of the night for best mobile game. These games stay with you long after you've finished them, literally, unless you delete them off your phone. Here are your nominees. Apex Legends Mobile. Diablo Immortal. Genshin Impact. Marvel Snap. And Tower of Fantasy. And the game award goes to Marvel Snap. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh! Wow! Uh, thank you so much. Thank you to uh, Marvel for taking an incredible chance on us. Thank you to our publisher Newverse. Thank you to the incredible community of Marvel Snap players around the world. Uh, you know, we were, we were here like eight years ago for Hearthstone, and this one hits super different. It's, it's wild. Uh, starting a new company is, is scary. And we wanted to thank all the incredible other startups in our area who have been so welcoming to us. It's been incredible. And r for real, thank you so much to Second Dinner. It's, uh, we did it, y'all. We did it. Thank you so much. Huge congratulations to Marvel Snap. And heads up, this year we're partnering with Discord, and you can head to the Game Awards Discord server to discuss tonight's show and even watch together. <laughs> yeah. And now buckle up for three world premieres in a row. 
Ooh. First is a game that is up for best debut indie, and now it's headed to a whole new platform. This is Vampire Survivors. Do you folks have foes? The original Vampire Survivors is out now on mobile. The full game for free for real. Please be excited. Available now for iOS and Android. Stop doing drugs. Be the bullet head. Oh, yeah. Nineteen seventeen. The Great War rages on. Two brothers fight to survive the trenches alongside other valiant hearts. Desperate to find their way home. Returnal, which won last year at the Game Awards, is coming to PC in early 2023. And all I can say is, I love that I'm actually getting paid to watch these right now. I cannot wait for these games to come out. If we're being honest, I've been doing way too much socializing with real humans and spending way too much time in nature lately. Enough of that. Okay, so we are going to take a super quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after we check in with gaming icon Ninja, who is going to show us a new way to game with Xbox and Samsung. I'm here in my living room to show you a whole new way to play Xbox games. I'm playing Fortnite on the Xbox app with Samsung Gaming Hub, and it looks absolutely incredible. Wow. It's smooth, responsive. Unreal Engine 5.1 killed it. There's no console and no PC. You can use your favorite Bluetooth controller. And starting today, right now, you can play the Xbox app on any Samsung 2021 smart TV. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Let's game. There's a storm coming. How can you tell? Trust me. I heard the same thing happened in Greer. The rats. I knew it. I knew we'd have to pay a price for the corruption of our souls. So here's the famous girl with the sling. I'm sorry for everything. Things aren't always nice, but you can change them. Oh, good, honey. You're sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, come on. Son of a Come on in, kids. Time for cake. Get It Takes Two merch at ItTakesTwoStore.com this holiday season. Yep, you can actually buy your own Cutie Bean Elephant plushie from It Takes Two, which won Game of the Year last year. And Joseph Ferris will be presenting the Game of the Year tonight. And now, I hope everyone is suited up and reloaded because our next award is for Best Fighting Game. Here are the nominees. DNF Duel. 
JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R. The King of Fighters 15. Multiverses. And Sifu. And the game award goes to Multiverses. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, I just want to thank my family uh, for all the sacrifices and uh, thank you to Player First Games, um, a startup, an indie startup that we started with four people in a room. Um, also, thank you, um, Warner Brothers, uh, for really trusting in us um, and taking a chance on a brand new studio with, that hasn't done anything before and giving us this opportunity. Um, and finally, I'd love to thank all the players that have played our game and, and love our game. Thank you for our community. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, Multiverses. Okay, the house is filling up behind me. We're about halfway to the big show. But first, it's time for a brand new announcement of a brand new game right here at the Game Awards opening act. Where do you think nightmares come from? first campfire and stared out into the dark. You created us to stab back. What are you? Me? I'm mad. More like, hell yeah, boy. Am I right? I'll show myself out. So now I have the honor of announcing the winners for five esports categories. The nominees for best esports game are, and the game award goes to Valorant. Congratulations. For best esports athlete, the nominees are. And the game award goes to, yay! For best esports team, here are the nominees. And the game award goes to, loud! For best esports coach, the nominees are, and the game award goes to, Bazooka! And finally, for best esports event, here are the nominees. And the game award goes to 2022 League of Legends World Championship. A huge congratulations to you all. Tonight, watch the game awards on Steam, where they are giving away a Steam Deck every minute. And on Twitch, there are viewer rewards, including a free game from Epic. Jeff's Among Us Mask Returns, and a special Fall Guys Gears of War skin. And now, so many world premieres and only a little bit more time, let's get right to three more, starting with a look at something new in the Horizon world, which is up for Game of the Year. Horizon also won an award as part of the Game Maker's Sketchbook, which celebrates great video game art. Here's a new look at the PSVR 2 game, Call of the Mountain.
viewfinder. I'm getting portal vibes from this for sure. Use the hashtag game night to celebrate gaming's biggest moments. We'll be back with lots more, including Street Fighter VI coming up. Personal log, sentient contact assessment and response team. Cyan. Where am I? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? How far would you go? up for our super fun, awesome shooting and looting adventure? Great! So, you can put your name down right here and... Wait, wait. Do you even know about the first kid? You like action and excitement? Oh, there's no shortage of that here. You'll be exploring the galaxy for relics, all while dodging those annoying dukes. Yeah, take that, evil space duck! Ahem, <laughs> aren't you forgetting something, Pinky? Like endless sweet loot. Duh. Yeah, Ace. I was just about to mention our mega arsenal of weapons and gear. Woohoo! You can enhance, fuse, and make them even more better. Oh, yeah. Anyways, if you're a fan of super solo fun, four person multiplayer mayhem, and enjoying an adventure you'll never forget, then join the Relic Hunters right now. Tonight, Average Jonas is in the house. He's Verizon's ambassadors, and tonight, Verizon has a special offer on the Xbox Series S. Scan the QR code below to pick one up, and you'll get a free controller. And follow at Average underscore Jonas on Instagram for more fun details. And I have to say, I want you to know I love all my world premieres equally, and I try not to play favorites. But I have to admit, I am extra excited about this one. Here's a special announcement from Among Us.
maybe now I have two favorites. I think my New Year's resolution will be to just play games all day and never leave my house. Well, if you're streaming tonight, you can see these seats filling up behind me. We're getting ready to kick off gaming's biggest night. It's going to be the best game awards yet, and I say this as an expert. And now, here's a look at a beautiful new game, Replaced, coming in 2023. to thousands of American lives lost in the last two months alone. Canada, the spread of radiation. After the abolishment of nuclear power, old mining complexes were reopened across the... To reduce the our international affairs in focus on our own country. Phoenix Corporation representatives assured the walls were built for our own safety. favorite awards in gaming, best family game. Family games are what we all grew up on. Carmen San Diego, Mario, Doom, Resident Evil. Okay, so I think I just realized why I couldn't sleep as a child. Nothing a little cognitive behavioral therapy can't fix. Anyway, the nominees for best family game are Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Lego Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga. Mario and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope. Yeah. Nintendo Switch Sports. And Splatoon 3. Yeah. And the game award goes to... Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you so much for this award and, and recognition. I'm accepting this on behalf of the talented development teams at HAL Laboratories and Nintendo that worked on Kirby and the Forgotten Land. You know, this is um, the 30th anniversary of the Kirby series, and it's pretty cool to see this little, cute, but powerful guy finally win one of these. And all he had to do was go full mouthful mode on a giant car to do it. Thanks again for this, really appreciate it. Thank you. Forgotten Land. And finally, I have a world premiere that is a trip. A franchise that has been around for 35 years and still going strong has yet another installment for you. Here's a special world premiere from Street Fighter VI.
He was obsessed, you see, with finding an appropriate vessel for this power. Showtime, baby! Prepare. Fight with all your heart! An honor, to be sure. Okay, everyone, it's time to level up to our big show where we have more awards, musical performances, and even more world premieres of incredible games. I know it's hard to imagine that there's still more show, but that's how much the world of gaming is thriving right now. We have tons of game content to show off, plus incredible presenters, a musical performance by Hosier, and so much more. A huge congratulations to all the winners of our first awards. Ride that high all night, baby. Thank you all for ramping up the night with me. Now it's time for me to grab my seat. Until next time, the 2022 Game Awards starts now. Welcome to the Game Awards 2022. Now, here's your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Game Awards. It feels so amazing to be back in person with the fans and to have the entire industry with us here tonight. I love it, such great energy. I want to say hello to all the nominees. Uh, Mr. Miyazaki, great to have you here, nominated for Game of the Year tonight, which is great. Kratos himself, Christopher Judge, is in the house. Man Engage, incredible in immortality. Welcome to the Game Awards. And of course, we have Phil Spencer from Xbox with us. Welcome, Phil. <laughs> Doug Bowser from Nintendo. You saw him accepting an award already in the opening act. And uh, lots more awards to come. And of course, last year's Game of the Year winner, Joseph Ferris is back. Good to see you, Joe. Everyone's here. Look, even Animal is here, guys. Can't take him anywhere, I should have booked Kermit. All right, well, welcome to all the nominees and to all of you watching live around the world. Thank you for being a part of this community. Tonight, we are gonna honor the best games of the year and show you what's next with an absolutely incredible world premiere lineup, including the first ever look at the gameplay of Star Wars Jedi Survivor from Respawn. An update on Final Fantasy 16. The first ever clip from the Super Mario Brothers movie. And many, many new game announcements and surprises. Trust me, we've got a lot of things, no leaks. We're very excited about what we're about to share with you guys. Now though, it's time for our first award to present it I am so honored to welcome one of the great actors of our generation or any other. 
He's a two-time Tony winner, a two-time Emmy winner, and an Academy Award winner. Please join me in welcoming to the Game Awards, Al Pacino. So cool. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's really good to see you here. Uh, this is uh, an experience for me. <laughs> uh, what I didn't expect, but here I am, as usual, doing my surprising thing to myself. But uh, anyway, uh, I, I, I may come as, a, it may come as a shock to you. But uh, I, 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 I'm, it's hard for me to see the teleprompter. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but uh, in, the, in truth, I don't play a whole a lot of video games. <laughs> but I do have, however, spent a lot of time watching my kids play them. Yeah. And I've continued to be thoroughly impressed and uh, um, entertained by the uh, unique and immersive ways video games tell their stories. And especially, especially naturally, by the performers who help tell these stories. Uh, because as an actor, I've learned that whether you're on a stage or in front of a camera or inside an audio booth, always, fundamentally, always, we're the same. Uh, we, we are all trying to tell a story in our way. Uh, with our kind of truth. And I am honored to be here tonight to celebrate the achievements of these incredibly talented actors who, by breathing life into these stories, have helped elevate the medium of video games to a new height. And now, the nominees for the best performance of the year are... Best performance. I have to find a way to fix it all. And the answer is somewhere out in the Forbidden West. Everything was so nice and quiet. Go to hell! And still, I follow. Death can have me do what is necessary. I don't find boys have much to say for themselves. You don't scare me. I can't talk about it. But you don't believe in any of it. Who's keeping you safe? Best performance. I'm working out now. You're, this is heavy. <laughs> Finally, I didn't work out today, so I'm doing... You don't mind, do you, if I do a little lead? <laughs> the best performance winner Christopher Judge for God of War Ragnarok. I see why I couldn't get more than a plus one. 
Um, thank you to the Game Awards. Um, first of all, uh, I have to thank my mama. Um, whose belief that I would amount to something good would uh, never waver, even though it looked like I'd never amount to anything good. Um, my brother, who's my hero, at 40, changed his life, went to medical school, and is now Dr. Judge. My children. Who I am forever proud of, forever thankful of, and still the best role I've ever had is being your dad. Sony Santa Monica. Ms. Yumi Yang, it is an honor and a pleasure to work for you and with you. You are a unicorn because you actually proved that for the first time ever, the trickle-down theory actually worked. <laughs> Corey Barlog, thank you, brother. Thank you uh, for believing in me, and um, thank you for having me read for the role. Um, I was the last actor in California to read for it. Um, <laughs> and Corey said to me he didn't think I would do it. And uh, if I had known it was a video game back then, I might not have. Boy, how things have changed. Um, Matt, Rich, Dory, Bruno, Erica, B, all, everyone who made that volume so special and so sacred, uh, everyone at every level, be it designer, be it whatever it was, who worked under extraordinary conditions to get this game out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Eric Williams. I, I think it's kind of common knowledge that uh, we were honored to go to Tribeca after 2018. And when Corey took me outside and said he wouldn't be directing the next one, I literally did quit. I quit. And he said, no, nah, I vouch for Eric. And I said, Eric Williams better be a beast. Eric Williams is a motherfucking beast. <laughs> I relate to Corey on kind of an artistic level, a level of, of that side of me. <sighs> Eric Williams and I are from such the same place, two different parts of the country, two different upbringings, but two from a very similar emotional place. And I'll never forget, I guess I can't say what it was, but it was something that moved me so deeply and 
there's a, there's a time frame that cinematics have to fit into. Hopefully not speeches. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I couldn't reel it in. And Eric came over to me. <laughs> and he, he just hugged me and just held me as I was sobbing. And then he said words I will never forget. Okay, big guy, now give us one we can use. <laughs> to this amazing, wonderful group of actors. Um, who brought as much or more than I did every single day. I mean, we were in there, and the bravery of this group of actors to share their heartache, their loves, their lost loves, their loneliness. I am so grateful and thankful that I got to spend all those days in that volume with you. This is for all of us. Sonny. I wasn't lying, I voted for you. Your work was astounding. You're the future of this. Just never forget the two things I hopefully gave you. Hire me, don't be a douchebag. <laughs> to every single person in this room, no matter what game it was you touched, you are heroes because you got so many people in the world through a very difficult, dark time that's still not over. Games and the gaming community mean so much to this world, there's so much in the course of dreams and escapism and, and just being better. Um, thank you. Thank you to the rest of the nominees. Have a great night. And I met Al Pacino. <laughs> Great moment, Chris Judge. I think he was trying to give away a few extra Steam Decks as well. All right, it's time to get the announcements rolling here at the Game Awards. Tonight, many of the world's top studios are here at the Game Awards to give you a glimpse at the exciting future of video games in 2023 and beyond. Our first world premiere comes from a small but highly acclaimed studio that needs no introduction at this point and whose last game earned multiple awards here at TGA. I'm very excited to share the global announcement of their next project. Here we go.
The least I can do is light your way down. About ready to give in? No. I was born for this. You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Vengeance for your family awaits you. He is no mere titan. He is time itself. And time cannot be stopped. Wait for me, father. I'll be this. Trust me, we are just getting started. Hades 2 is the next game and first ever sequel now in development at Supergiant Games, like the original which was revealed here at TGA in 2018. Hades 2 is gonna be developed in early access, so your feedback can help shape the game and news on early access is coming in 2023. Next, I'm so excited about this one. We're taking a journey to an exciting new world with a world premiere from a studio led by someone with a legacy of building incredible narrative-driven games and creating genre-defining experiences. It's moments like this that get me excited about the future of our medium. The ship is dying. And my only way out of here is with one of them. say how this coming. And you know what? They're right. surprises tonight. That was a first look at Judas coming from Ghost Story Games, led by Ken Levine, who has created immersive gaming worlds like Rapture and Columbia. A few months ago, I visited the studio in Boston and played multiple hours of this game, and let me tell you, everything you saw there is in-engine. In Ghost Story Games is also exploring different approaches to narrative that you will learn about in the future. Let me just say, I can't wait for them to tell you more. Didn't that look fantastic? Yeah. Exciting stuff. All right, well, let's go to another brand new game announcement for the fans here at the Game Awards. Avalon Forest. 
Teresa and the Lost Demon. That's right, following on the heels of Bayonetta 3, it won't be long until you get to play this brand new action adventure game in the Bayonetta series on March the 17th. All right, there are lots more new game announcements and awards to come, but tonight you also have a shot at some cool free stuff just for watching the Game Awards. On Steam, Valve is giving away a Steam Deck every minute to a viewer of the show. Uh, so I was going to start talking sh slowly, but I probably should start talking a little quicker after Chris's speech, but I'm so glad that he won that award. Uh, but seriously, Steam Deck is incredible, and you can watch on Steam.tv. We also have Twitch viewer rewards. Watch 60 minutes of the show tonight on our Twitch channel, and you'll get the limited edition Jeff Keighley Among Us mask. Yes, it's back. An awesome Kate Diaz from Gears of War costume in Fall Guys, and a full free game, Rogue Legacy on the Epic Game Store, and more. We'll be right back with a spectacular performance from Hosier and the Game Awards Orchestra. More awards, announcements, and yes, Animal from the Muppets will be back. People on the server are my family. I remember being at my lowest point. The members of this server were here for me. Seeing everyone in the Discord, this world of passion and grief, but in a positive light. I have been through so much with these people. This really made me believe that video games can help people heal. We love how you have fun. From serving up sports at home, to competing and cooperating in fresh ways, catching new adventures in vast worlds. So, what's next? More fun. <laughs> From adorable adventures to blasts from the past. And much, much more. comes to having fun, the sky's the limit. See where the fun takes you in 2023. Rated M for mature. There's no hope. But I've got to escape. Every sound. Every movement is closing in. This dead moon, it's not done with me yet. Just one thing to do, survive. San Francisco, the city by the bay is under siege by forces not of this world. We need new heroes, fearless recruits, with the guts to look evil in the eye. Who are we gonna call? You. Here we go, PKE meters out. I got a few hits. Look at me! Blast it! How did it get it put? Behind you! Tap out! Whew. That was close. Holy. We're going to need a bigger trap. Ghostbusters, Rise of the Ghost Lord, coming in 2023.
One of my favorite parts of this show is bringing video game music to life on stage. Now to perform Blood Upon the Snow from tonight's most nominated game, God of War Ragnarok. Please welcome multiple platinum Grammy nominated Hosier featuring Bear McCreary and the Game Awards Orchestra conducted by Lauren Balfe. Wow, what an incredible performance. The Game Awards Orchestra, I'm grateful to have them back again, and it's sincerely a joy to hear the music from games we love come to life on this stage. Uh, it's amazing what that orchestra puts together in just a few weeks of rehearsal. They'll be back later in the show to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. This year, a record-setting number of you voted 55 million for the Game Awards on our website, on Billy Billy in China, and on our Discord server. You can head over to discord.gg slash the Game Awards tonight to join in the discussion about the show. Right now, to present our next award from the new film Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, premiering December 23rd on Netflix, please welcome Jessica Hennick. I don't want to alarm anyone, but someone in this room is a murderer.
Just kidding, we're just joking around. But also, statistically speaking, someone in this theater probably is a murderer. I'm sorry. Let's not think about that. Anyway, I don't want to spoil our film, but I can tell you that there is a very popular video game featured in it. And now, to give you some more clues, please welcome writer-director Ryan Johnson and the star of Glass Onion, Daniel Craig. Thank you, Jessica Hedgewick. And hello, <laughs> Game Awards. Uh, we are so excited for you to see our new film. Uh, we have a special scene in it for fans of a certain game, so we wanted to bring a little something to that game. That's you. That's Ben Wobblock. Look at look at him. This is adorable. I mean, it's, it's a nice game. scarf. I like the cravat. It's yeah, very, yeah. very nice, yeah. yeah. And now, here are the nominees. Best debut indie. We're sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work, and I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. And the Game Award for Best Debut Indie goes to Stray. Too, actually. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. It's an incredible honor. On behalf of the whole team in Montpellier that is probably watching right now, hi guys. Um, I want to thank everyone that was involved in making this, uh, this game. It's really a work of love and passion, uh, and uh, all the talented members of our team put everything they have to make this game real. Thanks to everyone who has helped us along the way, our friends, families, partners, companions, dogs, cats, obviously, <laughs> pretty important. Um, Annapurna Interactive, you guys are amazing. You make dreams happen. Uh, thank you so much. You've been with us the whole way through. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, thank you to the players. Um, we put such a big part of our lives making this game, so seeing people enjoy it and react to it is the best feeling in the world. So. Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Congratulations, Stray. And now an exclusive first look at the gameplay from Lightfall, Destiny 2's next chapter, launching in February. Join your fellow guardians to master the cosmic powers of the universe and cancel the apocalypse. When we think about controlling something powerful, it's easy to assume it takes strength. But what I've learned, through loss, we can overcome the impossible.
Vengeance. I am the Knight. I am Batman. After 30 years as the iconic voice of Batman in the Arkham video games, Batman the Animated Series, and countless other DC projects, Actor Kevin Conroy sadly passed away last month at the age of 66. He was such an iconic voice. Uh, he was so amazing in the Arkham games, and I know we're all going to miss him dearly. Well, tonight, we can share that he will return to Rocksteady's Arkhamverse one final time to play Batman in Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, when the game releases on May 26th of next year. We're going to miss you, Kevin. Now, as we think about the next phase of our industry, it's important to recognize those who represent the bright, bold, and inclusive future of gaming. That's why we have our Game Awards Future Class presented by Old Spice. And tonight, over 75 members of the class from the past two years are here in the audience. Hello, guys. And this week, we inducted the 2022 class of 50 new, 50 new members. You can read about them at tgafutureclass.com. And right now, meet one of this year's new members, a chemist turned game dev at Intersloth, who also happens to be a street dancer. I'm Mick Minier. I'm the lead backend programmer on Among Us. And I'm a street dancer named Dr. Robotnik. I was looking at the movement of NPCs in video games. Get in line and realize that we as animation dancers have the unique ability to show the body control, the robotics. We have the ability to bend time and reality. It's really exciting. I think there's a lot of potential to bridge these two different art forms. All right, chat, here we go. Game face call the game on smash on
studio who spent two years recreating their own game. Recreate Studio presents. Oh my god, this is so cute. Can you teach me how to play this game? Yeah. Ugh, wow. Yeah! Prepare your friends for a cute and relaxing Animal Crossing-like experience, and then brutally destroy them all. Devs claim this game will improve your relationship with friends. Oh, brother, help me! Yeah, sure. Son of- The Party Animals, an epic battle of the most epic animal characters. Starring Royal Corgi, Orange Cat, Canada Goose, Bullsh**, a regular duck that looks like absolutely no one. All of these animals have very fancy outfits. An actual Royal Corgi, an actual Orange Cat, an actual Canada Goose, an actual... This is Sparta! Let's interview the game producer. What inspired you to make so many outfits for these cute animals? Many! Oh, I made the same morning. Join the epic battle taking place in some of the most epic places. Don't try these in the human world. A submarine destroying the world. A freezing cold fighter jet. A station where Keanu Reeves spot a dude wearing a suit. A f***ing black hole. Football. Trebuchet. Exploding basketball. While the game offers various modes to encourage different styles of gameplay, but we all know that the only thing that's truly interesting is to watch your friends lose their shit. Oh, I forgot. There are lots of weapons. All very realistic. John Wick really needs to learn how to use this. And the final and biggest feature of the game, butt scratching. Party animals, play with your friends on Steam and Xbox, coming 2023. That's right, The Last of Us is officially coming to PC on March 3rd, and later in the show, the cast of The Last of Us show from HBO will be with us to present an award. But now, to present Best Adaptation, please welcome the host of TGA Opening Act, Sydney Goodman. presenting a brand new award for Best Adaptation. This award celebrates when beloved characters and stories from gaming are lovingly transported to films and television. Here are the nominees. Best Adaptation. Imagining yourself a hero. I have to try. Don't make a name for yourself as a cyberpunk by how you live. Make a name by how you die. What we need is a little fun. Sonic meet Knuckles. Return to sender. Oh, come on! What the hell are you doing? You just hit me with a paw! And the game award for best adaptation goes to... Arcane League of Legends. <laughs> Wow. I mean, it's an incredible honor to, you know, be awarded by the video game community. You know, we're all, we're gamers at heart uh, who built this, and uh, it's been a long, long journey getting here. Uh, definitely like to thank uh, Fortiche, you know, his amazing animation you see in every frame of the show. Uh, Netflix has been a wonderful partner, of course. Of course, Riot, you know, for believing in us, to Mark, Sean, and Brandon. This is our, uh, it's just been, it's been an incredible ride, and I can't thank you enough. So once again, thank you.
Congratulations, Arcane League of Legends. And speaking of adaptations, later we'll have the first clip from the new Super Mario Brothers animated movie. Can't wait to have that. Keegan Michael Keel be with us. All right, now back to the games. Coming later in the show, we'll have an update on Final Fantasy 16, a new look at Cyberpunk's Phantom Liberty expansion, and the first gameplay, raw gameplay footage of Tekken 8. There's lots more game awards to come, and that means lots more Steam decks to give away. But now, it's time for the world premiere of a long-awaited game. the Empire's most wanted. A Jedi. Remind our friend here why his kind are supposed to be dead. Here we go. The Empire has only grown stronger. Thanks, Bloat. Part of the job, Gustus. The Jedi is a threat. Now that we have this... As long as we fight... Hope survives. Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Cameron Monaghan. It's an incredible honor to wield this lightsaber again. And I think I can speak for everybody at Respawn, EA, and Lucasfilm when I say how incredibly excited we are to show our work on Jedi Survivor. I had the chance to play the game recently, and I can honestly say, that this is one of the best Star Wars games of all time. And that's saying something. Yeah, I have no doubt that you'll feel the same way when you play it too. And I've just got to say that I am so incredibly lucky to be a part of this incredible project. And it's really something extraordinary. So, we'll see you all in a galaxy far, far away, March 17th. And until then, may the Force be with you. Doesn't that gameplay look incredible? I can't wait to play Jedi Survivor. Thanks to Respawn and EA for giving us that first ever look at the gameplay. Next, we're proud to support independent games here at the Game Awards. This next world premiere comes from a Game Award winning studio up in my native Canada.
I have a dream. It starts in the desert. You cling to life. You find others. Friends. You wander the dry, dirty streets of civilization. In the ancient halls of the testing stations, you find answers. You seek the secrets of the ever-shifting sands. Spice. these things in my dream, sleeper. I am terrified of what happens when you awaken. That was your first in-engine look at Dune Awakening. Tonight, all the major gaming platforms are offering special discounts and offers on TGA nominees. You can check out the Game Awards sale across Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, Epic Store, and special offers on nominees on the Nintendo eShop. And that's not all. In celebration of TGA, you can also play free demos of many upcoming games across Steam, Xbox, and for the first time, PlayStation. And right now, we're excited to share news about a playable demo going live tonight on PlayStation. Before you came, the people had resigned themselves to their fate, cowering in fear of the hunters. But now, because of you, they might just stand a chance. for all. Indie partners bring a whole world of fun. They spin new life into familiar faces, keep players on their toes, put dance battles front and center, challenge us to aim higher, and create secrets destined to be discovered, all before the eyes of a captive audience. So here's a big thanks. We can't wait to see where the fun takes you next. Nice. Now through December 31st, get a free Grubhub vehicle skin in PUBG Mobile when you order $12 or more from Wendy's through Grubhub and use code PUBG Mobile. Let's go! go for the win. Go for Grubhub. If we 
we've got nothing else to do, why don't I tell you a story? There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. Those plants have withered! Paimon doesn't like the look of this. Gotcha! Here comes the catch! The wind rises. Huh. 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 Bow your head! Welcome back to the Game Awards. That was a look at Genshin Impact, now in the middle of its third year, and a double nominee tonight, and a sneak peek at Yao Yao, an upcoming character to join its growing roster. Next is something truly, truly special. Tonight, all of us together get to experience the global announcement of the next game from one of our industry's most visionary game studios. Get ready. Please enjoy. Let the young out this way pretend. And protect you. So let love warm you. Till the morning I'll stay With you By your side Close your tired eyes And I'll wait And soon I'll see your smile Baby, don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. I meant it when I said I understand how you feel. But if you hold on to the sadness, it'll weigh you down like an anchor. It 
wasn't the UCA that made the final decision. It was APAC, a private corporation. So let love warn you till the morning. Hello? Everyone. Please join me in welcoming back to the Game Awards a true legend, Mr. Hideo Kojima! Hockey, great to see you. Uh, well, Mr. Kojima, it's been three years you're on this stage with us in 2019, where you won Best Game Direction. Uh, DS2 has been announced. Uh, what can you tell us? How is it going to be different than DS1? えっと、まあ、詳しいことはまだ言えませんけど、あの、驚きの仕掛けをいっぱい入れてますんで、あの、トレーラーにヒントが隠されてますんで、それを見ながら皆さんと議論していただければと思います。I can't really be specific right now, but you just seen the trailer and I put a lot of things inside, so I want you guys to talk about it and find details in it. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Uh well, I know we have some of uh, the cast from the game with us here. Uh, hello, Leia, Shieli, great to have you guys with us here. Um, Troy is here as well, we heard him there. Hello, Troy. Um, we're so excited about this collaboration you have with uh, an amazing cast. Uh, I wanted to ask you the story of this game. How has the pandemic and what we've been through, how has that impacted your storytelling and the theme of this game? えっと、実はあの、コロナ前にストーリーも全部完成してたんですけども、ま、実際にコロナを体験して well, I had the story written before the pandemic, but after experiment, experiencing the pandemic, I just rewrote the whole thing, uh, the story from scratch. I also didn't want to predict any more future, so I rewrote it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kojima, it's always such a pleasure having you here. I wanted to ask, generally, what's next for you as a creator? I know we have our fun podcast we do. What else have you got planned? DS2 is in development, but there is another game that we have done. So we are doing a lot of work and a lot of work. And we are doing a lot of work and a lot of work. And we are doing a lot of work. Well, yes, I'm doing the DS2 right now, and also one other title that's completely new I'm kind of experimenting at the moment, and also other visual projects I'm still working on. So I'll, I'll hope to uh, reveal it soon. Excellent. Well, you're always uh, very prolific, and we love you for it. Hideo Kojima, everyone, DS2. Mr. Kojima, thank you so much. Aki, thank you. Well, next we have another global game announcement. We're proud to announce a new game for, and a new world for a new AAA independent studio, Ascendant Studios. A team with experience making story-driven FPS games like Dead Space, Halo, and Bioshock. They partnered with EA Originals, the label, be label behind last year's Game of the Year winner, It Takes Two, to create a single-player magic shooter set within a new original world. Here is your first glimpse. Great many people died in this war. Your men killed my family. The immortals are more than soldiers. We're the champion protectors of Lucy. Hero of Yilthium Fields. Hero of Yilthium Fields. You don't get it, do you? All you are is angry. All of Avium is crumbling apart. You don't win in ever war. You help us win this. I'll know you're ready. He's an actor. 
actor who recently performed in Midnight Mass and Ghostbusters Spirit Unleashed. Please welcome Rahul Kohli. As an actor, I'm drawn towards stories, but I think that's true of all of us, especially those who pick up a controller. Narrative in games is a slippery thing because there's no single way to tell a story. The beginning, middle, and end may not even happen in that order. And for each of us, there may be different outcomes altogether. But to be truly invested in a game story is to step away and feel as if you've lived another life. These are the nominees for Best Narrative. Best Narrative. Hugo was always worried that it would start all over again. He doesn't deserve this. The Golden Order is broken. Become Elden Lord. Fate only binds you if you let it be. You will make our only destiny. Everywhere I look, things are falling apart. I don't know if I can find a way forward. Some people say I'm scared. You find me scared. Is this going to be fun for the movie? And the Game Award for Best Narrative goes to... God of War Ragnarok. There are so many people, a lot of them over there, who should be on this stage with me right now. Um, so much goes into the telling of a story in a video game, from writers, animators, cine artists, level and tech de technical designers, artists, QA programmers, audio, music. It, it's not just what's on the page. Obviously, our incredible cast, um, they elevate everything that we do put on the page. Um, I'm just, I'm honored to accept this on their behalf. Um, I want to thank uh, PlayStation, uh, Scott, <laughs> Herman. I want to thank, oh God, our uh, SMS, IT, and facilities. The, the thing, the heavy lifting they had to do when we all had to shift to work from home. That's incredible. And they're still supporting us now. Um, I'm just, uh, I, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful for your support. All the nominees in this category, you all have my undying respect. Um, I also want to thank, obviously, Yumi, uh, Corey, and our captain, Eric Williams. <clears throat> Rich and I, after Corey stepped aside for this one, Rich and I couldn't have asked for a more supportive and incredible creative partner and uh, we're, we're grateful for you every single day. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I also want to thank our families who went from having to see us in the morning and at night to having to see us all day, every day. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a burden I wouldn't wish for on anyone. Uh, my uh, wife, Suzanne, my son, James, thank you very much. I love you and I'll see you later. Congratulations, God of War Ragnarok. Today is December 8th, so it just made sense to show you the first ever gameplay of Tekken 8. Harada-san and the team are hard at work on the next installment in this legendary fighting franchise. Oite. Zin. 
俺の血を引いていながらこの程度か母さん俺はまた守れないのかもろもろの真心と罪汚れ清めましょう Now it's time to recognize more awards and winners. Here are the nominees for Best Art Direction. Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Scorn, and Stray. And the Game Award goes to Elden Ring. Congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best VR AR Game. After the Fall, Among Us VR, Bone Lab, Moss Book 2 and Red Matter 2. And the Game Award goes to Moss Book 2. Congratulations. Next, the nominees for Best Sim Strategy Game Dune Spice Wars, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope, Total War Warhammer 3, Two Point Campus, and Victoria 3. And the Game Award this year goes to Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. The beats here, I think. Congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support presented by Discord, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy XIV, Fortnite, and No Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy XIV. Congratulations, GLGP. Uh, make sure to check out their Discord community at the address below. We have much more Game Awards still to come. And right now, here's a new look at Nightingale, a first-person PvE open-world survival crafting game that we first announced last year right here at the Game Awards. For you, the year is 1889. The world as you know it teeters on the brink. The magical network of portals has collapsed. Your people are cast asunder beyond the frontiers of your reality. Realms alive with monstrous beasts, eldritch creatures and dangers of which you cannot conceive. You must gather your wits, craft whatsoever you require, and build a life in the realms. Uncover the secrets of realm cards and venture deeper into the unknown. Ford is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. Tonight, in celebration of the Game Awards, Verizon has a special offer. Buy an Xbox Series S from Verizon, you'll get a free controller. Scan the QR code below to pick up an Xbox Series S and follow Average Jonas on Instagram at Average underscore Jonas for more fun details. We find ourselves now at the beginning before leaving our place of comfort, before being tried and tested. We can feel it. A rush of pure anticipation for the limits waiting to be shattered. 
and everything unknown. Sometimes we won't have a goal at all. We'll move forward in ways unexpected. To lose ourselves in new stories. And find ourselves at home in the strangest of places. Here we are at the beginning once again. With everything in front of us. Infinite new worlds to explore. And every feeling yet to be felt. Good luck. Have fun. Day one of quitting vaping. Once I get a couple days under my belt of not vaping, I'm just gonna feel better mentally. Today definitely was hard. I started vaping nicotine again because of the stressful events. I thought it was helping, but then I quickly realized that it just made me feel way worse. The biggest advice I would give to anyone out there that is currently thinking about quitting vaping nicotine is don't be afraid to talk to someone. And if you don't have a support system, this is quitting can be there for you so you don't feel alone. I've got the Samsung 990 Pro Series. Shall we get started then? The speed exceeds all expectations. Reading speeds are 40% quicker than before, and writing speeds are 55% faster. Through the in-house controller, the per watt performance has improved up to 50%. The 990 Pro's nickel coating controller for its smart thermal solution technology controls here. Playing computer games? Obviously the best. From tonight until the end of December, you can get an exclusive chance for 10% off of the Samsung 990 Pro SSD at samsung.com slash US to enhance your gaming experience. The promo code is 990PROTGA22. All right, our next presenters are absolute legends. They attended the very first Game Awards where we honored them with our first Industry Icon Award. They founded Sierra Online. They brought us Half-Life, King's Quest, and hundreds of other titles, and this show, my career in gaming, would not exist without them. Their latest game, their back-making games, which we're excited about, is called Colossal Cave, and it launches January 19th. Everyone, please join me in welcoming to the Game Awards, Ken and Roberta Williams. When we first started making games many, many years ago, we knew the potential was there to achieve almost anything, even to change the world. We're honored to be back here to present the award for Games for Impact, which recognizes games that change the way people think and feel about the world. Here are the nominees. Games for Impact. I swear it won't happen again. I just want to know that we can make it through this one. Every cycle, you take your chances. Wake up, sleeper. It's hard not to drift into the past. And the Game Award for Games for Impact goes to As Dusk Falls. Wow, um, thank you so much. 
um, I had notes, but um, I forgot everything. So <laughs> let's improvise. Uh, so I, the game um, we made together with this amazing team um, was like eight years in the making. We really hoped to create, um, you know, an experience that was unique, um, narrative that was intense, grounded, and also communal, because as Dusk Falls is multiplayer and super inclusive and approachable. Um, and so the story of As Dusk Falls like, presents, you know, um, flawed characters, uh, normal people that struggle with their real life issues and are thrown in super intense pressure cooker situations. And we hope that players uh, would feel empathy for them and in the process uh, would um, learn a little bit about their values, like reflect on what's important for them. And so super thrilled to be here tonight. Um, it means that uh, hopefully uh, the game resonated with uh, some of you. Very happy, so thankful. I want to especially thank our team, uh, which is an amazing team at Internet Nights, the best team I've ever worked with. Um, Microsoft for their amazing support and partnership. And uh, my family, Clément, Joanna, and Axel, I love you infinity forever. Uh, merci beaucoup. Congratulations to Interior Night. Baldur's Gate 3 is the next big RPG from Larian Studios, the creators of Definity, Original Sin, and now the team at Larian is ready to share just when you're going to be able to join the party. Tell me, why have you come here? We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the Absolute. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. You're the same as me. You have a Mind Flayer tadpole in your brain. Let's try to find a solution together. Before it's too late. There's a gust of weave about you, but it's a mere breeze. I need a tempest. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. We fight, we die. And we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. <laughs> My, this place is fun. There's someone I want you to meet. A friend who sees the world. In simple terms, not just a friend, a legend. He's not the kind of man who takes kindly to captivity. The cult captured him. I almost feel sorry for them. Looks amazing. I'm here with Joe Mad, legendary comic artist and CEO of Airship Syndicate. Joe, tonight you have a new title to announce, right? We do. Uh, a few months ago, uh, we announced that we were partnered with Digital Extreme, which has made Warframe uh, just a huge success over the last 10 years. Yeah. And now we're going to leverage uh, their expertise on our new game, uh, which is a character-based online action RPG set in a brand new fantasy world. And we're super excited. And uh, I think there's a little bit more. You got another partner to talk about too. We right? do. Another partner uh, has come on board uh, to support us and help us reach even more players around the world. And uh, you'll be able to play it a lot sooner than you might think. So. Okay. Well, let's yeah. take a look at the Thank official you. announcement, the world premiere. Here we go. Thanks. The. Glitch. 
gloom. Its arrival brought chaos. But we found a way to control it. We choose the path. We face the danger. We control the chaos. To reconnect our broken world. We've all walked many paths. Sharpened many blades. Played a few tricks. Crushed a few skulls. <laughs> but now, we fight as one. We are Wayfinders. Finally, we're free. We were just growing weary of each other's conversation. Lend me your strength! Don't hold this against me! I quite look forward to working together. Let's do this! I'm on a mission! Joining me now are Genova Chen from That Game Company, creators of Journey and Sky, and singer-songwriter Aurora. Welcome to the Game Awards. And Aurora, right after the show tonight, you are going to be performing a virtual and free concert in Sky, is that right? Mm-hmm, yes, and I'm so excited. I'm sorry about my voice, it's so fucked up. I sang karaoke last night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. It'll be perfect in the virtual yes. concert, though, right? But, but tonight it will be very good, of yes, course. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so tell us, this is an amazing collaboration uh, working with uh, Genova and the team. Why did you want to do this? Um, I'm so excited about it, mostly because all of the people that are working on Sky, Children of Light and Genova, is just the best kind of people. And it feels like this, this project is so full of love and, and light and understandment um, of the outsiders in the world yes. and finding a way to make us feel at home and connected. It's very, it's just pure. So. Yeah, I, I got to experience it last week and it really is very moving. I think it's kind of the future where virtual concerts should go. Genova, you've always built games about connecting people, you know, relationships. What, I wouldn't peg you as someone that would go into the virtual concert space, but this is very special. Tell us, why did you want to do this? Yeah, I mean, historically, we always want to push the boundary of how a game can make you feel. And with our game journey, we connect two people but with Sky and now the upcoming concert, we want to try to see connect thousands of people together emotionally. And this is just something that I've never experienced. And to be honest, like I just played it with 4,000 people yeah. this week, and I don't know what to say. But so maybe we can just look at a trailer, and hopefully that will help to explain. Amazing. Let's check yeah. it out. Thanks, guys. From flow, flower, journey to sky. That game company continued to push the boundary of video games' emotional potential. Can video game create a genuine human connection and bring players across the world closer, like a concert? In a real-life concert, you feel the collective energy of thousands of beautiful souls around you. You connect with the artist and their message at a personal level. We haven't felt this in any video games and after 18 months of experimentation and development, we feel it now.
We made this concert completely free, so you can experience this amazing journey with your friends and loved ones. You can download on any of these platforms and take less than a minute from boot to concert. Join us for this groundbreaking moment shared by millions of players worldwide. Check that out. It's really, really special. All right, this year we partnered with Grubhub to get your food delivered for the Game Awards. When you order from Wendy's on Grubhub using the code PUBG Mobile, you'll receive a free vehicle wrap on orders of $12 or more through the end of December. Players will also be able to participate in PUBG Mobile and complete other challenges. Terms and conditions apply. Quando eu comecei a streamar, eu tinha receio de mostrar o meu rosto às câmeras. Eu já cheguei a dizer para algumas pessoas que eu era tímida, mas na verdade já deu para ver que eu não tenho timidez nenhuma. A verdade é que eu tinha medo de como eu seria recepcionada pelas pessoas, como por ser uma mulher preta, LGBT. Boa tarde, bebês! Chegou! para mais uma livezinha. Aconteceu tudo totalmente ao contrário do que eu esperava. As pessoas me recepcionaram. Arrasa. Toda essa notoriedade me levou para lugares que eu jamais imaginei. Essa grande né? final do Championship Qualifier Brasil. Então dessa forma, eu sendo esse rosto por trás das câmeras que inspira pessoas, que motiva pessoas, que cede voz das pessoas que não têm. Isso para mim é algo muito importante, é algo que eu levo muito a sério. You give away the more that you have, the more that they. 
true. In his holy name. Wow, Diablo 4 and Halsey are just getting started on their collaboration leading up to the launch. More from Diablo and Halsey next year. But wasn't that incredible? Thank you so much, Halsey. All right, now we'd like to recognize some other winners tonight. In the category of Best Sports Racing Game, the nominees are F1 22, FIFA 23, NBA 2K23, Gran Turismo 7, and Oli Oli World. And the Game Award goes to Gran Turismo 7. Congratulations. Here are your nominees for best multiplayer game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Multiversus, Overwatch 2, Splatoon 3, and TMNT Shredder's Revenge. And the Game Award goes to Splatoon 3. All right, now the nominees for best audio design. COD Modern Warfare 2, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Gran Turismo 7, Horizon Forbidden West. And this game award goes to God of War Ragnarok. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for Content Creator of the Year. Carl Jacobs, Ludwig, Nebelian, Nobru, and QT Cinderella. And the Game Award goes to Ludwig. Congratulations, man. Here are the nominees for Most Anticipated Game. Final Fantasy 16, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, Starfield, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe a fan favorite, but and the Game Award goes to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Congratulations to all our winners so far, and now it's time for another world premiere.
Burning Shores will see Aloy pursue, pursue a sinister threat in the untamed wilds of Los Angeles, and yes, even the Hollywood sign isn't spared. And now, please welcome the cast of The Last of Us Show coming to HBO on January 15th. I, just, just real quick, I, I know that I told you guys this backstage, but just in front of everybody else, I want to let you know, we've seen the show, and we, we just love you as Joel and Ellie. Thank you. Thank you. Big fans. Big fans. So you know we are big fans of you two as well as Joel and Ellie. <laughs> Um, so should we do this all together, just like Joel and Ellie's, just one and all? Let's do it. Time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're, We're here, here to present, present the award, award for best, best action, action game. game. Nailed it. Many games have action, and these are the ones that truly <laughs> kick ass. This kicks ass. <laughs> <laughs> here are the Best action game. This is pretty awesome. Um, on behalf of the development teams at Platinum Games and Nintendo that worked tirelessly on bringing Bayonetta to life for the third time, thank you so very much. It's about noon back in Japan tomorrow, and I'm sure they're watching right now, so this is for you folks. Congratulations. I think you all know this, but no one does action games and over-the-top action games like Platinum Games. And as you saw, they're already hard at work on their next project, so they asked me to say a few words on their behalf. With our long history of creating action games, it's a huge honor to be awarded Bex Action Game for Bayonetta 3. We're also delighted to be able to reveal a brand new title for the Game Awards today. We'd like to thank everyone who helped us bring the game to life and, of course, the fans of the series. With the characters just as important as the many players, uh, as the many to the many players as gameplay, we hope you'll keep your eyes peeled for Cereza's next stories. From everyone at Platinum Games, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations to PG and Nintendo. And next, we have a trio of exciting new game announcements. First, let's head to Japan for a special announcement.当初から Amazon 
プレイヤー同士が協力して楽しめるアクション RPG をぜひ体験してくださいこの広大で美しい世界を来年 PC プレイステーション5 XBOX シリーズ X そして S でグローバルに提供できることをとても楽しみにしていますブループロトコルのファーストルックをお楽しみくださいUp, Animal from the Muppets drops by, and Keegan Michael Key shares a new look at the Super Mario Brothers movie. And still to come, the award for best game direction. Stick around.
3 Console Edition, coming in 2023. There is no victory to be had here. There is only survival. The strength of your resolve is the only thing that will grant you another day. Another breath. This place is relentless. It devours everything. And soon, it will take your mind. I have found no meaning to this struggle. But when the end comes for you, Yield. It was the season of yeeting when all through the land not a fall guy was stirring, not even a... Oh, uh, uh, whether the beans have been naughty or nice, there were presents on offer in the snow and the ice. In store for all, a ski costume for free. A new slippy dive slide to tackle with glee. Those resourceful enough to complete gift grab may stumble forth as a nutcracker, thus looking fab. For tis the season for fun and frolics for all. Even SpongeBob has answered the call. So this holiday season, celebrate in style. Curl up by the fire and play Fall Guys for a while. He's the voice of Toad in the upcoming Super Mario Brothers movie. Please welcome Keegan Michael Key. What's happening, Game Awards? <laughs> it is so great that we can all be here and having such a good time and celebrating tonight, right? Yes. Okay, now, all right, there is something that I would like to address. And uh, if you guessed that it is, well, something about um, Toad's head, <laughs> you would be right. Uh, because I, I see a lot of people online saying that it's a hat, and, and you know what? It's not a hat, it's a cap. <laughs> you see, because see, the cap is that top part of the mushroom that houses the spores and everything, and also a cap is another word for hat. I, <laughs> I see how that, okay, I just right now saw how that could be confusing. Um, Wow. Uh, well, well, okay. Whether you call it a cap or a hat or a capat, I, I'm good with all of it because it's just part of Toad's awesomeness. So now please enjoy this clip of a few of our capped and hatted friends in a sneak preview of their super awesome journey. So these brick 
Rex is just floating here. Uh, just pop in this pipe and we're on our way. Oh. It's the only way to fly, man. Oh, wow. Love these pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, palace doors, big, big, boom. Come on! <laughs> Woo! That looks absolutely so amazing. Get that went oh. Let's play, let's play, let's play! Yeah. Yes, I like the energy, as you can see. I'm now joined by Animal from the upcoming Muppets Mayhem. Uh, say hi, Animal. Uh, uh. Hi, Anama. <laughs> playtime, 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 playtime. We are at the Game Awards. I love this enthusiasm, Animal. So I have to ask, what do you want to play? Do you have a certain game or? Uh, Tarnished. Elden Ring, is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't imagine you being a Soulsborne player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, do you have a favorite boss in Elden Ring? Oh, Malenia. <laughs> Yeah, millennia. And I'm a love millennia. You're, you're, you're still thinking about it. She's, she's pretty tough in the game. Uh, well, now that I know you're such a big game fan, have you ever thought about kind of appearing in your own game or having an animal game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kojima! Kojima! Uh, <laughs> Where Kojima? I, I don't know if Mr. Kojima's going to be into that or not, but uh, you never know. Uh, uh, animal can hide in box. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess you could. We'll, we'll talk to Hideo at the after party, see what we can make happen. Uh, but all right, what if that didn't work out and so you had to make your own game? What would you call it? Oh, uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that one's taken. The Nintendo lawyers might have some issues with that. But anyways, Animal, it's, it's great to have you here at the Game Awards. Should we maybe give out an award now? What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. Music! Music! Oh. Music! Oh, okay, Animal has spoken. Let's check out the nominees for Best Score and Music. Roll it! Best Score and Music. And the Game Award for Best Score and Music goes to God of War Ragnarok. God of War! Congratulations! Congratulations! Wow, Animal! Whoa, buddy! My favorite drummer! I don't believe it! I literally don't believe it. Uh, no, thank you so much, everybody. Um, but I, I really got to give a shout out to everybody at Santa Monica Studio. Corey, when you told me this story eight years ago, uh, I was moved to tears then, and it's been a part of my life ever since. Uh, and Eric Williams, uh, you really brought this out of me, man. Uh, thank you so much. All the musicians, Ivor and Hozier, who is up here tonight, uh, all the ethnic... Um, fiddle players and, and Hardinger fiddle and nickel harp, all these wonderful um, musicians from around the world also lent their, uh, their beautiful uh, performances. But I just also want to say I, I, I've learned the power of simplicity and Kratos is a man of few words. And I wanted to write him just a few notes. And I got to write bum, bum, bum. And if I had only wrote that, I, 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 I feel like the story would sort of be there. So I got to write a lot more. Thank you so much, everybody. This means the world to me. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Bear. And now it's time for an exclusive reveal of a brand new action RPG developed by the creators of Life is Strange, Don't Nod, and published by Focus Entertainment.
So, you're a banisher, eh? You want ghosts, right? <laughs> you must have seen some strange things. We had our share. Yes. But I've never seen a ghost myself. But they are real. Right? So what? You track and kill him. Is that it? It takes a brave man to walk these wilds alone. I'm not alone. A bone walker. Defenders of mankind against the horrors that dwell in the darkness. While we draw breath, we stand. While we stand, we fight. Angels of death. We are the blade drawn against the endless night. Nothing will survive our wrath.
That was a look at Meet Your Makers. Sign up for the upcoming beta. The game launches April 4th, 2023. All week, Twitch is celebrating What Games Week, recognizing all the games from gaming history that never got their proper due, like EA's Overblood, which was the most played game this week. It's a game from 1997. Which game saw the biggest increase in viewership over the week? According to a Twitch Twitter poll, the winner was Katamari. All right, we've got much more game awards ahead, more world premieres, including an update on Final Fantasy 16, and of course, the game of the year, presented by last year's winner, Joseph Ferris. Who knows what he's gonna say? Hopefully it's short. All right, we'll be right back. Here's to colorful competition. Here's to inking turf together. Here's to every friend, every rival, every splat. Here's to you, Splatoon 3 community. Big run is imminent. Team up with friends and fend off the salmon in invasion this weekend. You wretched scum! Do you have any idea what Blood Bowl is? Moving! Get it? Dodging! Passing! Protecting the ball carrier and crushing the hell out of your opponents! Oh, I know luck could have been with us, but that's not an excuse! Blood Bowl is a demanding sport! Your opponents want your heads! And even their fans will murder you if they have the chance. Finish your drinks, pull yourselves together. Get out there and win me this match! We are at war, and she's in danger. You will find her and bring her to me. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. Who are you? You know who I am. A legend cannot be killed, can it? Welcome back to the Game Awards. Coming to the stage now. Uh Sensitive, thank you. What's up, Game Awards? Crash is in the building, let's go! Get ready for an epic reveal in three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Guys, where's my crew? Hold on a sec. What happened? We were supposed to meet up here and steal all the Wumper Fruit from the Game Awards, which I'm now realizing was a fruitless plan. Oh, excuse me, are you guys on mute? <laughs> oh, I get it. The old silent treatment. That's fine. More Wumpa for me, wherever it is. Whatever. Roll the trailer, Grandma! Oh, 
Now, please welcome two outstanding content creators and streamers. Here are Foosley and Valkyrie. to rapidly evolve every year, if there's one category that seems to advance the fastest and furthest, it's innovation and accessibility. Each year, designers impress and inspire us by discovering new and thoughtful ways to enable an even larger audience to play their games through determined consideration for those who are often marginalized. Here are the Game Awards nominees for innovation and accessibility. Innovation and accessibility. It's a single player and multiplayer experience. We wanted to draw in people who weren't necessarily gamers. I might be able to get up there if you help me. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance. That suite of features enables gameplay by players who are blind and have low vision. And the Game Award for Innovation and Accessibility goes to... <laughs> God, God of War Ragnarok! Thank you, everyone. We are absolutely humbled and grateful to everyone who's helped us in this journey along the way, because playing games is what's important for the players. It's you all, you who play the games that are really the ones that deserve this award. Everyone who was on the team at SMS, we are truly honored to be with you. Thank you so much, Eric and Yumi, for supporting us, John and Jason for being there while we were trying to make these accessibility features happen. Katie, Sam, and Zach, my closest cohorts when we were trying to make these features, and all of our team in the QA and accessibility uh, research teams, the UI UX team, and everyone who made it possible. Uh, I can't thank you enough, and I think that the, the players themselves are the ones that are going to benefit the most. This is a race that no matter who wins, the player is the real winner. So let's go out there and make all games have no limits. Thank you. with grace, our hearts with hope, and guide our path eternal. Turn our gaze from what lies beyond your luster, where wickedness dwells, and the shadows reign. Arm us with your golden splendor, so that together may we vanquish the darkness in light we walk. of the fallen. And now, from 505 Games, a new organized crime game, Crime Boss Rock A City. Please welcome Kirby Joe Grubb, Damien Poitier, and the boss himself, Michael Mr. Michael Madsen. Hello, Game Awards. We are, here to slight a, we are here to set a slightly different tone for the trailer you're about to watch. You see, this trailer here, well, it's a little different than the rest of these trailers you're seeing tonight. This one's a little bit dangerous. So the boss wanted to come out here, you know, make sure you don't hurt yourself sometime during the next 60 seconds. Wow. 
What a crowd. <laughs> My God, what a night, wow. Um, listen, I, uh, I've had some wild times. Uh, I've been involved in some crazy things in my life. Uh, I even made a picture with Mr. Al Pacino. Uh, Donnie Brasco. If you haven't seen it, you should look it up, goddammit. So, anyway, I have to say, being the crime boss of Rock Cay City, now that's a lot of fun. And uh, we've got an amazing cast with us, these two handsome guys with me. <laughs> and uh, anyway, enjoy the debut trailer for Crime Boss Rock Cay City, coming March 28th, 2023. So let's roll it. So you want to be a criminal? <laughs> Game of us! That's right, Chuck Norris. All right, and now we are happy to announce more winners here at the Game Awards based on votes from our jury and fans around the world. Here are the nominees for best role-playing game. Elden Ring, Live Alive, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Triangle Strategy, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and the Game Award goes to Elden Ring. Congratulations to Fromm and Bandai Namco. Here are the nominees for Player's Voice, our 100% fan voted category. You guys were very busy voting the past few days. Nominees, Sonic Frontiers, Genshin Impact, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, and Stray. And once we took out all the bot votes, the Game Award goes to Genshin Impact. Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game. Cult of the Lamb, Neon White, Sifu, Stray, Tunic, and the Game Award goes to Stray. Congratulations, a double winner tonight. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. A Plague Tale Requiem, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, and Tunic. And the Game Award goes to God of War Ragnarok. Here are the nominees for Best Ongoing Game. Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy XIV, Fortnite, and Genshin Impact. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy XIV for the second time tonight. Reggie is in the building and his body is ready. 
Plus, Naoki Yoshida takes the stage, and the Game Awards Orchestra honors the nominees for Game of the Year. Doritos has taken gaming to another level with Doritos Triangle Island, created in Fortnite. Starting tonight, they're challenging fans with a scavenger hunt contest to find one of three hidden Doritos chips. Head to Doritos Instagram or Twitter for more details and a chance to win. Hey, I'm Ben Brode from Second Dinner, the developers of Marvel Snap, and we are so excited about our new collaboration with Martin Garrix and Jake on this incredible new music video that explores love throughout the multiverse. Here's a clip of Hero. Hello, 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 hello. We have 900 people in here right now. How are you feeling? What's up, Kenzie? I see you out here. What up, what up, what up? My name is Michael Reynolds, and I am the Fierce Diva. Where have you been? So to me, what it means is just being very authentically myself and apologetically me. My mental health is very important to me for several reasons. Constantly thought that I was lesser than my peers. I just could never focus. But going through that mental health journey with my therapist who I adore, we learned that I had ADD. Um, it gave me a whole new perspective on my life and gave me a lot of answers that I didn't even know that I was seeking. Girl, I'm dead, I'm dead. There ain't no way I'm surviving this shit. Oh, it hurts, honey, it hurts. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to help usher that experience for folks that really needed right, it. Guys. Thank you for the love per usual, the mess per usual. If I am inspiring other people to be authentic, if I'm inspiring people to seek mental health, then I definitely feel good about that. He drops by every December, just like Santa. Give it up for Reggie. Hey! So this year, I'm here to present the best game direction category. And it's a particularly exciting award, especially in our industry. Games are constantly pushing the boundaries of creativity, innovation, and artistry. And to be nominated, you need to have created an experience that is incredibly special to the players. To the teams represented behind these titles, you have my utmost respect. Here are the nominees for the best game direction. Best game direction. The tarnished will soon return. War is not the only way. The land is dying. I'm running out of time. In 5B, take one. He saw 20,000 girls. He picked you. And the game award for best game direction goes to Elden Ring.
<笑>あの素晴らしい受賞,受賞させていただきまして本当にありがとうございます。It's a great pleasure receiving this such a wonderful award. とディレクターとして非常に名誉なことだと思っております。As a director, I'm very honored about that. とフロムソフトウェアのですね、エルデニング過去最高最大規模のタイトルだったということで、まあ谷村さんや石崎さんはじめとするまあ頼りになる CEO ディレクターのチームと一緒に開発に臨んだタイトルですので。あの喜びもひとしおです。エルデンリングは、私たちの最大のゲームを私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、We really want to share the, this great joy of receiving this award with them. Thank you. So, once again, thank you so much for your support. Sometimes you're willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, all the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Tell me you've got a plan. Not a plan, a man. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. Solomon Reed, FIA. So, what do we do now? Dogtown. Burn it to the ground is what we'll do. It's a simple choice. Them or us. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay. Game Awards, what's up? It's Idris Elba here, and I just want to let you know how excited I am to play NUSA agent Solomon Reed in Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. Can't wait for you guys to meet Reed when Phantom Liberty releases in 2023. See you in Night City. Thanks, Idris. Tonight, we are thrilled to share with you another global game announcement. This comes from one of the most decorated developers in the world who consistently pushes this medium forward for each of its releases. This studio has been nominated multiple times for Game of the Year here at this very show, and I am beyond grateful that they have chosen the Game Awards as the place for this global announcement.
When we come back, it's time to crown the 2022 Game of the Year, right here on the Game Awards. This place is... The Mushroom Kingdom! Hello. Your brother has landed in the Darklands. They're under Bowser's control. A mustachioed human has arrived in the Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know him? Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with the letter of his first name on it? Because I don't. <laughs> we do PG. From now through December 31st, get a free Grubhub vehicle skin in PUBG Mobile when you order $12 or more from Wendy's through Grubhub and use code PUBG Mobile. Go for the win. Go for Grubhub. There was an outbreak. They killed everyone trying to contain it. You do what you gotta do in here. This place has a way of changing you. These aren't accidents. They're all connected somehow. That was a look at Wild Hearts coming from Koei Tecmo and EA Originals next year. And now we welcome one of the busiest men in gaming, known fondly by his fans as Yoshi P, both the producer and director of the successful online role playing game Final Fantasy XIV, winner of two game awards tonight, and producer of the highly anticipated new entry in the acclaimed Final Fantasy franchise, Final Fantasy XVI. Please join me in welcoming for the first time to TGA, Mr. Naoki Yoshida. Thank you, Jeff. On behalf of the Final Fantasy 16 team, I'm honored to be here to present you with tonight's final world premiere. To all our fans, thank you for keeping faith in us. I hope you enjoy our latest trailer, Revenge.
take Joshua and get to safety. I'm not going without you. I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. Your Highness! Run! No! Clive! Joshua! Revenge is a weapon. I sometimes wonder if I am controlling it, or if it's controlling me. to the truth that awaits me. I will press on. Good boy. What do we do? The usual. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. And I won't be dying today. Come to me, Ifrit! Please welcome the director of Hazelight Studios and last year's Game of the Year winner for It Takes Two, here's Joseph Ferris. Yeah, really nice being on stage again, actually. It feels really good. I know, I know a lot of people are nervous, but don't be. I'm going to be super cool and short. So, uh, let's see now. Yeah, I, rem I remember recently, uh, Last year, winning Game of the Year, it's a fantastic feeling. So obviously, as a nominee, you should be very happy and very proud. But trust me, you do want to win, because it's a great feeling. <laughs> but however, you do actually win something at the Game Awards. It's super cool, because you know this beautiful orchestra, when they play the music from your game, I mean, I was sitting over there. And trust me, the hair, all, hair on my body was all over the place. Uh, no, uh, goose pump, I mean. It's really awesome. So uh, please uh, give a big applause to the beautiful orchestra and conducted by Lauren Bath.
Goosebump, I told you. <laughs> All right. Game of the year winner is Elden Ring. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, from Software, no, Minna, so she, my partner, there, Manna Namco, Minna, San, Eto, Taksan, Kyoto, Gasha, Minna, San, so she, my Sbarashi, Shinwa, Spitz, Shigreta, George, Aaron, and Martin, Eto, so Nas Barashi, this, ne, Bokno, Son Kesu, Elden Ring, Chim, no Minna, Aratame, Okina, Kansa, or Style, Totomoni, Kono, Yokobi, Wakacha, I tell you, I would like to share this great appreciation with our entire Airlending team members, everybody at From Software, our partner, Banda and Amco, all collaborators, and last but not least, Mr. George R. Martin, who created the great mythos for this game. Uh, so, this is the game of the year. 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 We have faced so many difficulties while developing this game, so as a director, I'm really relieved. And this might not be the you know, light thing to say at the, you know, the on the occasion of the um, receiving the GOATI award, but I have made up my mind to create even more interesting games than this one. As for Elden Ring, we still have several more things we want to do. Um, so this, getting this GOATI award really, really encourages us. So, lastly, the game was played, enjoyed えっと、我々、あるいは私は作りたいゲームを全力で作るという最高のことができています。本当にありがとう。えっと、皆さんと同じ時代、この時代に、ま、ゲーム制作に従事できたことを本当に幸せに思ってます。ありがとうございました。And finally, um we would like to, you know, um express our utmost gratitude to all the fans uh, who played, who enjoyed and who supported this titles. Um and we create the games we want to create and do our best because of you. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Martin. You know, real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my Reformed Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. All right, well, an eventful evening. Congratulations. This has been such a special night, and I can't believe that next year, 2023, marks the 10th annual Game Awards. So we are lucky to do this every year, and we want to thank all the industry for their support, and of course, all of you around the world, viewers of the show. Tonight, I do have one last special announcement from us. To celebrate our 10th year, the Game Awards is thrilled to be partnering with the LA Phil for a very special evening of video game music performed live at the world famous Hollywood Bowl next year on June 25th, 2023. 
We will be celebrating the past decade of video game music and looking ahead to its future. You'll be hearing much more about this historic collaboration early next year. Until then, thank you so much. Have a safe and happy holiday season, and we'll see you in 2023. Good night, everybody.